Why does the computer generated image affect the realism of a film? Or rather, should the computer generated image affect the realism of a film? What exactly is realism? Representing things in a way that is accurate to real life or a word used about an artificial object or substance that looks very much like a natural object or substance. When realistic is taken into the context of film, this is where realism is conceptualized. The representation of art or literature of objects, actions, or social conditions as they actually are, without idealization or representation in abstract form. A film made in realism strives to represent life in as many aspects as possible so as to create a believable and recognizable world for an audience. I want you to look at this lemon to fully understand what I will go on to explore in this video. Everyone needs to understand the difference in realities that surround film. Look literally anywhere but this screen. Look at the ceiling or something. What you're looking at now, providing you didn't look at another screen, is real. That right there is reality. Now look back. This is not real. This lemon might be real, it might have existed or still does exist, but this image of a lemon is not real. It's a real image of a lemon. You can touch the screen, but you cannot touch the lemon. This is the exact same case for everything we see on screen as a film, and why film as a whole is not real. This, of course, is not the case for documentary. But why exactly isn't film real? Film is all about illusion. Whether realist or not, illusion allows connection, which allows for entertainment, or whatever it is that the film or filmmakers intended. This illusion is developed through the use of language that we as an audience understand. This could be the language of light, that something that emits light will light up something it's looking at. The language of sound, that something that makes sound will make other people react to it. The language of acting and emotion, that something sad will make someone sad, and that something happy will make someone happy. Language appears to provide humans the capability of knowing reality, but only because its role in structuring the way that knowledge is produced is invisible or transparent. In other words, we know the difference between reality and fiction, or a false reality, because we can see how the false reality was made. It's transparent. As much as it isn't necessarily the case that actual reality is an opaque illusion, for all intents and purposes, it isn't transparent. To explain this concept a little further, I'll start at the beginning, which is arguably art. You can look at a painting, you can admire its message, its substance, and its likeness to reality, how the sky looks like the real sky, or the tree resembles the tree, but it's exactly that, a resemblance. You'll begin to notice the way it's made each brushstroke, how the colours are mixed, how the illusion of light has been created, and you become the medium-aware observer. The medium-aware viewer of a representational painting, the viewer who looks at a painting as a painting of something, looks at the way in which the surface of the painting has been marked in order to produce an image of the object. This is exactly the same for film. Instead of brushes and easels, it's lights and cameras. Instead of canvas, it's film. Instead of colour mixing, it's editing. And instead of a frame, it's a cinema, or a computer, or a TV and so on. Film does try to make its illusion as absolute as possible. Cinematic impression of reality depends on forgetting, that is, distracting the viewer's attention away from, not literally repressing the knowledge of, the technical process of filming in favour of the experience of the fictional world. Film is doing its very best to capture its audience in its illusion. You just have to look at the layout of a cinema to see a darkened room, surround sound, step seating so our field of vision is the only the screen and ever developing methods such as 3D and 4D to bring the screen further into perceived reality. But we will always be aware that it isn't. We will always see the brushstrokes. Realism film could well be considered a method in which cinema tries to create a more relatable illusion and to create a world with less obstacles on the path to suspending disbelief fully. Realism strives to replicate life and create an impression of reality, but an impression nonetheless. Regardless of realist film or not, we will always see the brushstrokes but we can choose to ignore them for the sake of our enjoyment by suspending our disbelief. Taking this into consideration, why is it that when watching a film, everything is fine until a computer-generated image appears amongst what are dubbed true images for the sake of this video? Why does this happen when we have already addressed that we understand film as a whole to be unreal at its core? One plausible reason is the state of technology used to create those images. If the technology doesn't have the capability to create images that aren't obviously fabricated or aren't relatable to an audience, the reality of the film is usually shattered instantly. We will almost always notice if something doesn't look right or looks fake, because it doesn't fit in with the rest of the film or how we expect it to be. It doesn't follow the language that we have learnt. Or in cases, it follows a language we have learnt of bad CGI and thus fake. However, go back to art for a second. Consider photorealistic art style. Individuals reach the point where art could be created in such detail and skill that there seems no difference between the image and the real thing. In many cases, you have to be told it isn't real to know it. This is a case where we can't quite see the brush marks, at least not as easily. Lemons again. One of these is fake. Try to figure out which one it is. In reality, these two are just very crudely cut out in post, and I put them on top of the image. 
and this one is just a lime I've painted yellow. Admittedly not very well, it's very difficult to paint a lime to look like a lemon, but still. The fact and theory remains, the only thing actually real in this picture wasn't what it was appearing to be. The only things with a likeness to what we recognise weren't real. As long as illusion is opaque, realism isn't lost. There are countless examples of CGI and computers being used to manipulate, generate and otherwise create imagery that is so subtle and unobvious that it becomes opaque for the audience. So why is it that CGI remains to be the sore thumb of the films that sticks out amongst all else? Is it that what was traditionally reserved for CGI was that which did not exist, that which the majority of the film watching public had never experienced, thus wasn't entirely relatable, thus by association we link unrelatable to false, to CGI? Or could it just possibly be the fact that those ones and zeros that make up the substance of CGI are just so far away from the physicality of our world that the public doesn't quite understand it enough to relate to it, or to even consider it as real a thing as physical people filmed on physical cameras with the physical lights captured on physical film? Is it just that the audience's understanding and knowledge is yet to catch up with the exponential growth of filmmaking practice? If we reach a point where our understanding is at the same level, could we perceive reality in more places? Filmic realism will soon lose its association with a manner of creation. It will no longer matter how something is made, only the final product and how its message is received. It is only a matter of time before we will become to accept CGI as just another form of reality akin to any other prefix attached to the word realism. We will reach a point where even the most fantastical creations are no longer easily visible. That's when we will no longer care.